T-A-G-49. So, uh, I know I didn't really do a video last week, and this is kind of maybe technically this week's, but okay, but let's get to the point. Uh, this is Gemini Babbles. It's kind of like a vlog for me to go from all my past trauma and experiences to trying to help everybody. So, um, this is the end of April, so, um, May I'm going to be taking a break. Because I got a bunch of things on my plate right now, and I just need to get caught up per se. But when June comes around, I'm definitely putting another video because, you know, Gemini Month, can't really forget that one, right? So, we're moving along. Okay, so uh, today I want to talk about a little bit of what we were talking about, you know, being appreciative and this, that, and the other. And I know a lot of people don't believe in God. Now, I know there's a bunch that do, and there's some that are big, some believe in this, some believe in that. To me, is we're not doing anything religious. I'm just kind of explaining things. So, you know, in the past videos, kind of talked about this, that, and the other, you know, blah, 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 blah. Well, for me, let's go through some of my past. So, you know, back in February, I was still working at the greenhouse, and things just weren't going right. One thing after another, I just, nothing was going as planned, right? And yeah, I prayed. Um, for me, I kept saying, like, how can I do this? How can I get the things that I want done? I was like, just show me what I need to do. Help me. Whatever needs to get done, do it for me. Kind of just, you know, kind of like, you know, carry on the word, you know, Jesus take the wheel. Um. You know, for me, and then it's just like, um, my supervisor told me to go to take, talk to HR, I went to HR, explained them the scenario, told them what my uh, supervisor said, yada, 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 kept going, and, you know, four days later, I got fired. So, you know, I have the way of looking at it as, oh my God, I lost my job. But right now, I'm kind of, you know, doing decent. I'm not... All in, but you know, I'm not broke. You know, my bills are paid. That's all I care about. Um, I'd rather have all my bills paid and just be happy and healthy. And then right now, that's where I'm at. So, moving back to let's talk about September. So, last September, I had a whole bunch of stuff that went on, and for the most part, one day, because I've been doing some research, and something online popped up, and it was kind of like, if you talk to him by his name, he'll answer you. And I just, I don't know, I went down my, one of my Google rabbit searches, rabbit searches, not rabble, but um, it was one of those things like, his Hebrew name is Yeshua. And, you know, through different translations, we call him Jesus. So for me, I refer to him as Yeshua. Because at the end of the day, that is the Hebrew word for Savior. What was Jesus? He was our Savior. Thus, he is Yeshua. Yeshua converted to English is Joshua. So, in a way... You know, Joshua of Jericho, same thing. He was the savior of Jericho. Now, like I said, I'm not going religious. We're not doing Bible. Just two points for me. So, uh, I want to say, uh, let me see if I have the picture. Because everybody will kind of laugh at me if I show the picture. So, let me pull up my Snapchat. Outside, and this was when I was still smoking, and I was sitting on my back porch. And every morning, I had this thing where I was going outside, I'll sit on the back porch, I'll smoke in a bowl, and I would 
gonna take a random picture of my backyard. So this is what the picture was. And I did a little bit of drawing, you know? So that was kind of like, I call it the hunchback. Now when you scroll to the left and you just kind of look at it, you can kind of see that it looks a tad different, right? Well, so something told me, talk to him. I was like, okay. So I started talking. I was like, you know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I on the right path? And, you know, I mean, it was a little bit longer, but you get my point. So the next day, same thing kind of happens. I walk out, do my morning routine, and take my picture. Except this time I get shadows. We'll show you the shadows. So, like... If you look at the shadow, I'll go ahead and flip it upside down. You look at the shadow, it's a person waving. And then you see a little dot with a circle to the side, right? To me, that circle is like a spirit. I felt my grandfather's presence. Um, and to me, the shadow was kind of, and then it kind of clicked. The day before, I feel like it was... Yes, she was leaning in to check on me because I was down. The next day, it was more along the lines of my answer. Yes, you're doing good. Yes, you're doing what you need to be doing, yada, yada, yada. So, anytime I'm really, really, not necessarily struggling, but um, not going through what I need to go through, yes, I do pray. I ask if I'm doing the right things. I ask if this is my right path, and, you know, just like when I was at the greenhouse, you know, I, I asked for help and I got it. Yes, I got fired, but that was part of what needed to happen. You know, just like I asked the other day for help and it wasn't, what I got wasn't what I was looking for. It was more what I needed. So a lot of times you can't just pray and say, hey, I need a million dollars, uh, I need this, I need this, I need this. Because he's not going to give it to you. But what he can do is give you the steps to get there. So if you listen and you do what he guides you to do, you can get there. Sometimes, let's say... You're just on rock bottom, you're sitting at the pit, just, you're just so deep, there's no way you're going to get out. What does praying hurt? Because if you pray for help, and then this pops up. Let's say this pops up, and this can help you, but your pride goes, no, I don't want any help. I want to do it myself. I'm waiting for him to give me an answer. He gave you an answer. He showed you a way out. You just didn't take it. So if you're not taking his help, why are you asking for it? And then a week from now you go, oh, well, I prayed, I asked for help, and nothing happened. No, it did happen. You just chose not to go to that way. So, if you're asking for help and then denying what's given, where are we going? So, at the end of the day, I love everybody. I hope everyone has a blessed week. I hope everybody has a great May. Um, I'm definitely going to be back in June. Um, I will be posting videos, but they just won't be Gemini Battle videos. So, it's more... Gemini Battles is going to be on a break. We're going to be back in May or in June. I'm skipping May because I just I don't have time to mentally give myself this direction, this direction, and this direction. So I'm trying to cut back on some things. I got a whole bunch planned. I got a whole bunch I'm trying to do. I'm keeping everybody posted. It would just be in other ways. Um, I will be posting some videos. 
Um, I'm possibly do some like cover videos, music wise. Um, I just gotta have I have a bunch of things that I have planned, and, and I just do not have the time to do Gemini battles right now. So in May, I won't be posting any videos. Uh, this will be my last one until June. But I promise you, I will be back in June because you can't have Gemini Babbles without the month of June because Gemini month, right? So I love everybody. I hope everybody has a blessed day. I hope everybody has a blessed week, blessed month.